Wajid, tell me about your journey in real estate market of Dubai. So I came to Dubai in 2007. I still remember it was June and very hot. And uh, um, I had I was a fresh graduate, just started, uh, finished my degree, and I came to Dubai and was I was a tourist here. So when I came here and I saw uh, the real estate industry and the opportunity, it was huge because I met some friends and their friends who were doing real estate. And I, when I asked them, what sort of money are you guys making? The numbers, they told me like people were making half a million and plus minus uh, every month. So that really motivated me. And I saw that this is an industry where I can get into and I can change my life and I can achieve my dream life. So um, I started applying and then because my background was IT, so um, I got a job offer from Century 21, which was uh, one of the largest real estate brokerages in the world at that time as an IT admin. So my intention was, of course, um, uh, basically to get into the sales. So the, in the interview, I had this with these guys that I am going to do uh, the IT work, but on the long run, I want to do sales. So they agreed to that. So I started with them in around, um, I think it was July, August uh, in 2007, six months down the line, I was doing sales. And from there on, I never looked back. I mean, um, I, I fell in love with this city. I fell in love with this industry. And uh, it has been really, really, um, it has really, really worked very well for me. Tell us about your journey into real estate market in Dubai so far. Thank you, Wajid. First of all, Wajid, uh, in 2014, I came to uh, Dubai first time. I was doing business in my home country. You know, uh, I launched a few uh, brands also. I was in the business. But once I uh, came to Dubai, I was planning to do some business here. But I saw real estate market is, you know, booming that time and everyone is into real estate. And uh, then I started as a, a broker just to understand the market and uh, after like working in six years in the market then we decided to have a, open our own company with ANW name um, it's amazing journey just to be honest with you I'm a sales guy from 2003 my first job is in sales and till now I'm considered myself as a salesperson so it's an amazing journey and especially when a salesperson is making such money which you are making in real estate market of Dubai, obviously uh, is the best thing. Absolutely. Tell me about uh, A&W real estate journey. So the, the story behind A&W, it's basically A for Amir and Wajid. So we were, um, me and Amir, we met together when we were working in a, a previous company and we both had basically a dream to start our own business separately but um, uh, we me because of my own, uh, personal things and Amir because of his engagements and things we were not able to take a start um, and then maybe I think we were meant to meet and collaborate together get together become good friends become good partners to start a brand which will become one of the leading market brand in the market so what we did was that uh, when we met and then we became good friends in the previous company from there we started sharing the idea of that i want to have uh, a company uh, open my own real estate business and amir had the same uh, passion so then we decided why not because i have some strengths like i i, I can do uh, very good in sales because i my thing has been selling I love real estate selling, but management part, maybe I have some weaknesses. And Amir has been doing, um, he, his previous experience was of managing, starting businessing and managing them. And he is exceptionally good in that. So what we decided was that if we combine our strengths in one platform, then maybe we can do much better than we, we do individually. So that's where A and W, Amir and Wajid came into being. We decided, and uh, in it was um, somewhere around September of 2020 when the market. It's, it started. I remember Wajid. It started when uh, COVID lo lockdown what happened, yeah. and we were discussing every single day about this plan, and uh, it actually helped us. And that time when many companies are closing down, we started our uh, new company when people were saying why you guy opening your own company in this time when the market is going down every single day 
But we believe uh, in ourselves that, uh, inshallah, we both have that potential. And especially, I will re- definitely mention here our core team, uh, which comes with us on a very first step. That actually makes a a big success now. And uh, with 70 plus people in my team, with, in our team, is a big number, keeping in mind. And we are prominent agency in all the major development of uh, UAE now. Alhamdulillah. And uh, as we discuss the future plans of uh, ANW, we have opened our office in UK. We are opening in uh, Pakistan very soon. We have uh, uh, started operations in uh, Sri Lanka and India also. So it's it's going well, Alhamdulillah. ANW started a s- small office in Bay Square. 200 square feet office. Uh, still remember, every day we have to push ourselves uh, to come in a small office, you know, um, it was a great experience because that was our passion to start our own brand name, Amir and Wajid. And uh, um, we started with 200 square feet. And what the pl- we planned that first we make some money and then we'll go for a big office and big things. And this is what happened, mashallah, initial stage. You closed good number of deals, Wajid, and which helped us to grow. And uh, Alhamdulillah. And I think in um, uh, four months, we moved to a new office, which is a 1500 square feet office with uh, new joinings of around 20 people. I still remember uh, we come in that office with 20 people. And uh, when I saw uh, last few years, uh, we are on the right track. Uh, We are going on the right pace. And uh, the market has a lot of potential still not only for the sales point of view, it's as a you know company growth. I see a lot of potential. As that's what we uh, discussed, and uh, we entered in UK market with our humble beginnings, and now we have big kiosks there, uh, operational, and we are planning to uh, take this A and W brand to other countries very very soon. So I think the success of A and W is a combination of our strengths uh, and our definitely uh, it will never happen if our team uh, you know doesn't support our, the way they support it and uh, all our friends and now they are uh, you know mashallah when they grow themselves they become millionaires we are the most uh, you know proud people uh, that a and w developed them we hired fresh people remember what I, I was giving chance to every single one the person even don't know anything about real estate. We give them chance also. And when I saw now them that they are making amazing money, they have the right knowledge of the market, I feel so proud. I'm sure uh, you uh, also have the same feeling. Absolutely, absolutely. See, um, one thing which I really love about the culture in a what we have done is that it's not that the, our, our, our uh, agents, they're not feeling like they are they are basically the employees, they are our partners. Everyone owns this company, which has always been initially also, you remember we used to discuss that we want to have a platform where everyone owns this platform and everyone thinks that this is my company. So that's what the confidence we gave them. And we have been very lucky, I think, that we have uh, developed and um, um, a team which uh, where the vision, we have, they, they align with that vision. So they are owning this company, so that's why the family environment, the the uh, the positive environment we have, that is really boosting us. That's that's I think that is one of the basic and the backbone of our success so far. Hundred percent agreed, and um, that's what I like. And see, budget in four years, A and W, you know, from A and W, I can say more than seven eight new companies uh, opened. Uh, yes. From our exactly. you know own agents, yes. and seriously, what I saw previously in our uh, companies that they feel bad about that that they learned from here and started their own company. But I feel really um, you know proud and I feel happy that see everyone has a right to grow if they if they can manage the operations of real estate market, why not? And that's why this, what we discussed earlier, that we will not disturb anyone. Um, we cancel the visa very easily. If somebody want to work with us, most welcome. We will here to support every single one. But if you cannot push anyone to work with you. 
Of course. So uh, that's what we are doing. And uh, Alhamdulillah, th- what you said is absolutely right. That people own that company, which is the best thing. Um, this what we did in our career aura. We still respect those companies where we learned. And uh, I still respect those people whom I learned uh, in uh, Dubai real estate market. So as uh, Bajid and we planned, I believe that our focus is very agent oriented. We want to develop people. In ANW, we hired 90% fresh people and we developed them and we trained them. And now they are our core team. So our strategy is the same. We encourage fresh people and we train them. And the same strategy we are following right now. If you have the sales potential, then guys, real estate, nothing like that. Me personally into business, I have around seven, eight companies other than real estate. But the money is in real estate and the satisfaction of, you know, uh, career in real estate is nowhere else. How do you see Russell Khama market? Every single developer is coming with a new uh, project with uh, uh, very nice designs on the beach. How you see Russell Khama market going? See, Russell Khama market has been, I think right now, if you look at UAE, Russell Khama most probably, I won't be wrong saying that it is one of the best opportunities for investors. What we know about Russell Khama, this is a market which was more known for tourism, but within UAE mostly. So we used to go, you know, for our weekend getaways, you have so many hotels and resorts. But if you look at past three years, the number of tourists that has increased to a substantial number, right? And then with the announcement of casino coming to this market, and that too in Russell Khaimah, the first one, that has really um, boosted the market there and the confidence of investors. Because with casino, there's so many opportunities coming. If you look at the market right now, you will see all the major players the developers, they have started their projects in Ras Al-Khaimah, in Marjan Island only. You have Imar, you have Aldar with their two projects. You have um, uh, Dar Global, which is uh, uh, the largest developer from Saudi Arabia. They have their project. You have Damak Properties, which is the largest private developer in UAE. They have their project. So all these major players getting into Ras Al-Khaimah market gives you a good indication that this market has much more potential. See, Ras Al-Khaimah has a lot of potential when it comes to tourism. It's a, it's a city, which is, is a state which is 5,000 year old heritage. So it's already they have a lot of tourist spot. And whenever we have the long weekend, we always go to Ras Al-Khaimah. The beaches of Ras Al-Khaimah is amazingly good. And the uh, current resorts which are active and operational, they are also very amazing. And the tourism which we recorded last year in 2023, was very handsome number, which is 1.3 million without any other activities. So now it's coming first ever wind resort with an amazing location and design with 1500 room skis. So of course, uh, it will definitely increase the tourism in that uh, particular uh, state. And what I think, see, uh, we know that Imar has that plot in Marjan Island from 2009. Why they launch now? It's very obvious reason that they know uh, that the, this is the time for Wrestle Hammer and the market is growing there. The need of the, uh, you know, buying a real estate property near a wind resort on the beach side, it's very nice. The per square feet rate price, it's still very reasonable. The payment plans are very flexible. Uh, you have branded uh, residences uh, over there. What investor needs? Investor needs a, a location where you have the growth of appreciation. So I personally think in 2030, when you have amazing, you know, uh, tourism in that segment, I what uh, government expecting is four million to five million uh, tourists. So this state will be very active then.